just want to share with you uh, something that wouldn't have been necessary to share had it not been for the fact that YouTube changed some of its rules the other day, or at least they announced the change the other day, and they announced that they were demonetizing um, any channel now who had been monetized before, which meant that those ads would run at the start of the uh, video, or some people did it at various times during the video. And they said that they were doing that to clean up some of the problems that they had with certain people who they called bad actors, who um, I guess were making it worse for the advertisers. And the advertisers are important because they fund so much of what goes on behind the scenes and that's okay. The thing is, when you're a small channel and you're first getting started, and I am, by the way, it's, it's going to be my anniversary really soon. My anniversary is February 11th. I will have been on here for a full year, and it's hard for me to believe that a whole year has gone by, but I feel like I've learned so much in the past year, and for that I'm eternally grateful, and I have the best best group of teachers and students and friends and kindred souls on the planet. So it's all great. But I think what happened was they said it used to, the requirements were such that a lot of people got on to this monetization program without uh, that, okay, that could not qualify with the new ground rules. You have to have a minimum of 4,000 hours of viewing in the past year, past 12 months. You have to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers. So I really hadn't paid too much attention about my watch time, to tell you the truth, because I'm just delighted with the interaction I have with my wonderfully loyal and lovely group of, of people who come and visit me all the time. But when I did take a look, I had more than enough in terms of the time, but I was short on the subscribers. I'm not complaining. I have approximately 830 subscribers. As, as recently as early August, I had less than 200. I'm doing extremely well. More people are coming to the channel, and I'm very mindful of Susan Little Poet's comment to me at one point about it being a double-edged sword as the channel grows because it's very intimate at this point. I know you all, we're like a small town and we function very much like that. We care about each other. It's kind of like if one of us is on vacation or missing, we worry about each other. We care about what's going on. And as you grow, they tell me that you can't do that as much. And it's understandable because with many more people reacting to your videos and commenting and all of that, it makes it harder to interact with every single person every single time. So I'm grateful for my ability to do that at this point. But the, the, the goal always is to grow with everything in life. We grow or we stagnate. We stagnate and we die. So you are either relevant in this world or you're not relevant and I choose to be relevant I want to be relevant probably to some degree for me but as I grow in this process more for you because I see that some of the things that I have been able to share with you have really had an impact on your lives and that is that's a gift that's really a gift so I, I want to be able to continue to do that. And the monetization, believe me, the amount of money that we get <laughs> from monetizing the channel, especially if you're a tiny channel, is it's minuscule. It, it, may, it has no real impact whatsoever. And, um, you know, so, but, but it's a scorekeeper. It's the way they keep score. 
how relevant are you? How many people are interested in watching? All of that goes into the equation. So on that basis, yeah, I really care. My initial reaction when they first, I was lucky enough to hear about it in a Facebook group I'm a member of, thanks to wonderful rock star mom, kind of uh, keeping, you know, um, she's got our backs and letting us know and warning us that this was coming because she had seen it before I had and I was so glad I knew ahead of time because it would have been a terrible shock if I had not. So um, I did watch a couple of things. My initial reaction, I was crushed because I thought, oh my God, it was almost as if I wasn't good enough. My channel wasn't good enough. It didn't, didn't matter. It was, it was a personal thing. It really felt like a personal thing until I spent a little bit of time and truly a little bit of time, it didn't take me long to realize it's not what it's about for me. Do I want to continue to do it? You bet I do. It is still part of the scorekeeping process. It's also whatever tiny little bit of money it is, I will tell you, it's really expensive to run a channel if you want to bring things to your people. I spend a lot of money trying to get things for you and to show you things and teach you things and, you know, just to share with you. So, yeah, I definitely want to have that, but the initial reaction of so many people was so negative and I recognize and have for many, many years, if you put negativity into the world, I promise you, that's what you get back. If you put a positive spin on things, if you really see it that way, can't be phony about it, it has to be real. But if you can look at the lesson in things or the gift that each one of these things presents, good things will come, and I know they will come. So once again, this was not, I didn't want to rant about this, or I certainly didn't want to make a big thing about it. It's something I probably, I, I really kind of had to wrestle with whether I should even mention it to you, since it doesn't affect you. But I needed to share my feelings, because I think in the end, the feelings are relevant. And I think in the end, the feelings really matter because it teaches us all something that when something seems to be terrible that happens in your world, every deep, dark cloud has a silver lining somewhere, if we can only see it. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's really harder. And I'm, I love what I do here. I think you enjoy what I do here. I'm gonna keep doing what I do here and I will see you with the next real video. By the way, ladies, please don't forget to keep sending me those photos. You will have my email address below. I really wanna see them, I really wanna share them. I came across an old photo of my family that just took me back and these things are so wonderful to look at, whether it's your family or mine. Sharing that, it just, it's a little bit more of our story. And I love sharing our story, yours and mine. So you, a picture of you and your mother, or a picture of you and your daughter, if you prefer. If a mother is not the right picture for you to share, it can be a grandmother, it can be a father, it can be an aunt, it can be a very close friend somebody who affected your life and made a difference in the way you grew up and became the person that you are. When I first started this channel, I didn't have a single clue where it was headed. I didn't have any idea if I had a voice and if I did where that voice would take me. But I do know now that it has brought me to an incredible group of people that I really care about and I really love interacting with and I want to bring value to you. I love to do those little talks where I just kind of tell you things about myself, random thoughts that come 
come to my mind because again, I think it's something that happens to all of us, but certainly as we age, we have more and more of those thoughts. And I have always been a very spiritual person, but I think even more so as time goes by because you recognize the finite nature of life on this planet and life as we know it. And uh, it kind of makes you open to and aware of a lot of the other things that you maybe were too busy dealing with the nitty gritty of life to think about before. Today's look, very simple green eyeshadow. This is with a warmer transition. Again, with this lighting, you may be getting an altered idea of what the makeup looks like. It really is uh, pretty well blended in all around and not an issue for me, but it may look that way to you because again, I definitely need to work on this. This angle is not working this way, not without lights. So I'm gonna have to change it around, but I love, I love it being on the, this level and I love it being close because I feel as if it's a little bit more intimate with you. In the end, whatever changes YouTube makes to its policies and its prerequisites for anything on the platform, it has been an incredible platform for me to be able to reach people from all over the world. And when would that ever be possible? You know, it's funny in my business many years ago, when the internet just started to kind of play any kind of a role at all, I was very innovative and I was one of the first to be on the internet. And my colleagues were frantic and they were saying it was gonna take our business away. We would no longer be able to function. And I, my feeling at the time, and I said it to anyone who would listen was, I can reach people now that I never would have reached because of the internet. And it's the same thing with this YouTube. So I am absolutely uh, delighted to have this platform on which to talk to you, come to you, commiserate with you, learn from you, hopefully teach you occasionally. It's all good, it really is all good. So I'm very happy whatever happens to my monetization and that we will see because I don't meet the guidelines by my number of subscribers. I think I have somewhere around 830 subscribers and I need a thousand. So the likelihood of getting 170 subscribers in one month is probably slim to none. So I will deal with that as it comes as I do with everything else in life as it comes and I think it's a good lesson for all of us and once again you know it's funny I say this all the time the lessons that teach us the most in life are the ones that are the most painful at the outset because all we see is what we perceive as an attack we don't see the possibility for change that in the end may be the true gift there's a gift in it if you look for it, and that is to help show you a better way. Some people are going to respond by doing things that are not right. Some people are going to respond by doing things that are gaming the system or attempting to game the system, but I think in the end, that's hard to do long-term. People are not stupid. And then there are other people who say, hey, wait a minute. What can I do to make a difference? And that's where I'm at at this point. And I'm, I'm through the process, meeting other uh, content creators that I didn't know before. And I'm, I'm loving having some interaction with them and seeing some of their videos. And I certainly will be giving shout outs as I see them coming up because the shout outs to me, I mean, my Lord, the, I got a shout out from Bella, wonderful Bella, and from Sheila. Love you, Sheila. Um, I think at one point Cindy had mentioned me, Palm Beach Cindy, and I um, don't remember if Susan had, but I, I've got some wonderful friends on this platform, 
and they've been very kind. So I, I, I'm just grateful for every single bit of it. Every single bit of it. Okay, Carol, my camera's not high enough yet, but I'm working on it, and I absolutely love you for all your little tips, like, look up, girl. <laughs> And I know ultimately at some point I'll get it right, but it's doing better. I had an interesting kind of thing happen today. Take a look at this. I'm going to come in close. Before I put my makeup on, I did this to kind of squint to look at something. And I said, "Woo!" when I squint, my bags are gone. I look a little weird, but look at this. So it's in a better place than it was. Lots of things in a better place than they were. There is nothing that makes me feel better about myself, about the world at large, about my place in it than you. The comments that I get from you touch my heart. They really reach my soul and they mean more to me than you could possibly know. So I thank you so much for it. I hope we continue on this journey together and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Love you.